This is Chris Kelly with the second video in our program design series, Planning Acute Variables. Now that we've gotten a general idea of what we want to do in our programs, all right, we want to actually put some dates down. Okay, so this client is starting on January 8th, uh, 2008. Actually, it's 2012, but that's when he's starting. All right, his two-month cycle is going to take him up to March 8th, 2008. So that's approximately 60 days. All right, we've give, we've uh, set some basic goals for this cycle, meaning uh, we're looking for basic endurance in form and then improved aerob aerobic and anaerobic endurance. Okay, for phase one, that's our prep phase one, we're doing aerobic capacity training. Uh, for prep phase two, we're doing power training. You know, that might mean something to you or not. You can put, you know, strength hypertrophy is number one, strength hypertrophy is, or, you know, circuit training is two. Whatever you want, you can get specific, but I try to keep it pretty general. Um, that stuff is going to also be addressed as we go down. Okay, because the next thing that I'm going to do, I'll just zoom out so you can see this a little bit better here. All right, is look at this week by week. Okay, so if this is a 60-day cycle, this is, an, this is eight weeks, okay? And we plan this out from week one to week eight. Okay, so we've got the dates here for each week. We've got the client split. This is a new, this is a new client, so generally we're gonna do a total body workout with them, um, at least for month one, and we've also chosen to do so for month two. Okay, so this tells us really the kind of exercises that we're going to employ for this, for this cycle. Okay, and then as well, you know, we just kind of list out phase one, the, our phase one weeks, phase two weeks, and then rep ranges. So with the rep range, I'm going eight to 12 reps throughout this entire cycle. Um, if I wanted to, if I wanted to go heavier, if they were going into a strength phase, you know, for, the, for cycle two, maybe I went to four to six reps, six to eight reps, whatever rep scheme you choose, you just plug that in, you know, and that'll let us know what we need to put into their program. Okay, so for energy system, I've listed out aerobic capacity here, but actually an easier way to go about this is say, you know, you're, you want to use circuits that month, all right? I'm just going to write circuit training. Circuit raining. Just so you know that this really is the, the form of conditioning that we're going to employ for that client during this month. Okay, so you can kind of create that with this in mind. Okay, and then for nutrition, you know, for this client, we're going to just give them a choice. I'm not really focusing so much on his nutrition uh, in this beginning phase. I, I want him to focus just more on getting consistent in the gym. But if this were a more experienced client, you know, we could actually, you know, one that was used to structured dieting, you could, we could actually periodize their nutrition as well by just plugging in how many calories that we want them to eat. Generally, we're going to do a certain number of calories for three to four week or two to three weeks so we'll put a thousand calories and then we'll do a rebuild so we'll put a deload week here so they would do a thousand calories then we, they would eat normally and then they would pr probably do that again in cycle two but the point is that this gives you an idea of how we're going to structure our variables really each week um, is a unit of training unto itself. So, you know, you could change the split um, if you're looking to do so in certain situations. Um, just keep track of the phase, keep track of what you're doing from week to week, and now we know from this information what we're going to plug specifically into our training template.